Ready to go, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. <laughs> ah, you. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. Come here, go over there. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you so much. Yes, you can have fun. You can have fun with Granny Granddad. You do know. Come here. Go. Halfway there. More than halfway there? We've got four hours to go over in Dubai. Yeah. There's a car for sale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see ya. I think we've gone the stupid way. Ask someone. Let's go this way. I think we'll be this way. Uh, it's currently 20 past 12. Half past 12 at night. Midnight, yeah. Uh, we're going to which the lounge. 3.8. To freshen up. Oh, there's a lot of shopping here. No. <laughs> Look at that. They literally just left at the airport. We're on our way to the seaplane and that is what you see straight away. How can you get crystal clear, isn't it? It's madness. It's, blue. it's just so that blue, fun. yeah. Hello, is anyone home? Yeah. <laughs> this is our room in the Maldives. We're staying at Condolo. We have spent a night here already. Uh, so I can't, there's some things that I can say already. The bed is so comfy. We slept 12 hours last night. We managed to stay awake until 9 p.m. And we woke up at nine o'clock this morning and I honestly feel like a new person, but everything's decorated really, really nicely. Look at this big peach roof. The air con is so good, <laughs> which you definitely need it here. We've got a TV, all the kind of usuals. We've got a nice fruit bowl. When you're booking, we you can make a decision to do all inclusive if you like, and that's what we've done. So all of this wine is it's a free for all. Can you cope? This is like a little wardrobe area, which we're actually I'm not going to use because I'm scared in case I leave something. There's me in my first holiday outfit. You'll see, it's very exciting. Wow, oh my goodness, how unbelievable. It's pretty perfect, honestly, this is like a little freshwater pool. We've got steps down into the ocean. Oh my God, Jack, what is that fish? That is such a long fish. Got our wee steps down into the water. And it just goes on for miles and miles and miles. The best, I want to see if there's anything I can show you. <gasps> What's that? Oh my god, there's just fish freaking out everywhere, it's the best. I think that's a squid. No, it's not. It's an eel. What is this? What are you? Me and Jack literally floated about this pool for ages. Didn't manage to get a bit burnt, I will show you. Um, but we've got our own sun loungers. It's just the best. It's like the perfect little living space. That is the toilet, that is the shower, and then look at this bath. Unbelievable. I've not had a bath yet. I had a shower last night. Look at this. Imagine. This is where I brush my teeth. <laughs> it's, honestly, it's so good. So that's a little tour. Getting here was remarkably easy compared to my journey home from Barcelona. My getting through airports from Barcelona and Amsterdam back to Glasgow was harder than getting here. The only thing that took a while was when you get to the Maldives, I think the airport's just quite small compared to how many people are coming here. So there was a bit of a wait going through and then there was a bit of a wait from when we got there to the bags coming round. Look at this. So when we got here yesterday, it was so good we managed to check right in. The room that we've got is an overwater villa with a pool, because uh, not all of them have pools. And it's just, I mean, honeymoon vibes. Got a wee bit excited 
and I got and I did have factor on I had like factor 50 on but then me and Jack went for a massage list uh, yesterday when we got here right that is probably the one of the best things that I've ever done getting off a long travel day checking into the room we had a quick dip we had a shower we went for a massage I had a Thai oil massage she bent me like a pretzel and I immediately was like I, all the Oh, eggs and beans. Oh, but all, all like the travel left my body. I literally felt like a new person. But I think in literally in the walk between getting the massage to come in here, and I think maybe like ten minutes before I put, like washed off and had put SPF on again, I got burnt because I had like oil on, like probably baby oil equivalent of baby oil. I was reading my book on my little sun lounger and I looked down and I was like, oh, I need to move these necklaces, I'll get a silly tan line. Too late. Spot the Scottish person on holiday. I'm usually not like this either. Jack is fine. This will go away. <laughs> it was worse yesterday. My shoulders are already fine, but this is pissing me off. So I'm going to be very careful today. I've got factor 50 that I use on my face. Travelling here was really easy. All we had to do was have our negative PCR test. Proof of vaccinations? But I'm not sure, like someone asked if we were vaccinated because if you are, you don't need to do a test to move resort anyway. And then fill out the local form, that was it. And then see when we got here, they literally looked at our passport, looked at all the stuff we've done online, stamp. We are here for nine days. We're staying in this room for three nights and then we're actually moving resort for no reason other than to change it up a little bit. We had dinner last night, we had teppanyaki, it was incredible. The breakfast was so nice this morning. See if you're wanting to properly chill out, unwind, this is great. There's there's like loads to do, there's like snorkeling, we're going on a sunset cruise tonight, we're having tacos on a pier. It's, it's honestly the best, it's so good. So we're here for three days and then we moved to a slightly bigger resort but it's the same hotel group or the same like resort group. So this is Kondulu and we're moving over to Kuramati, uh, Kuramati and yeah, we'll take you with us. We'll give you a tour of the island. Do you know why? Because it takes five minutes to walk around the island. My hair, I had a blow dry before we left. It's already covered in oil. This is the vibe the whole holiday. Our sole objectives are to spend time together, get a nice tan and sleep loads and relax and see wildlife. Do you want to know what I've seen so far? Jack, yes. correct me if I miss anything out, right? Sharks. Shark. Jaws. <laughs> we, we've called them Jaws. Jack's it was called honestly, them Jaws. must have been about three foot long. Which is quite big. Big for it's big enough, it's big, big for enough. A, big for a small mountain. Big enough for shark. someone that's kind of scared of sharks. We've seen little squid. Oh, there's a wee fish right there as well. That looks like a wee flounder fish. We've seen a turtle. turtle. We've seen bats. millions of bats. We've seen little lizards. We've seen a parrot that attacked me. <laughs> He's in there. <laughs> didn't really, it's friendly, but I didn't know he was friendly, so I ran away. <gasps> Look at these fish. Look at these fish. Oh my god. Look how many there are. That is the coolest thing ever. It's quite cool. See when the shark comes in. It's like Nemo. <gasps> yeah, they make a hole. Look how amazing. Yeah, usually when there's this many of these fish here, there's a shark somewhere too. And actually, before I shut the camera off for now, because I need to. I need to get my, my sun rising on. Look at that. There's only 30 rooms uh, in this whole place. So really that's like a maximum of maybe 60 people that can be here. But honestly, there's times where it feels like you've got the island to yourself. Have we already bumped into a Scottish couple? Yes, we have. <laughs> of course we have. Uh, but they were really nice and actually they told us all about the fish and the little squid. I keep on calling them squid, but they're not squid. That's the end of the island. That's the start of the island. That's how small it is. It's so good. We've been swimming in the sea. I have. Jack's, Jack's a wee bit scared of the sharks, which I understand. Net scared's not the word I'd say, no. <laughs> yeah. Lacking confidence. Oh, there's a wee wave. Cool. But we're going for lunch. We're having Mexican for lunch. Tacos on the beach. I don't think I'm burnt. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but it's not bad. I've been really careful. I've taken my necklaces off. I'm not going to wear them this whole time because I just don't want the tan lines. I can't believe I've did that. Jack's not taking his camera out yet, so he said he wants to get some pictures. And he really wants to get pictures of the, like, the wildlife here. I was swimming behind, I think our house is this one, and I was behind it swimming. And a shark swam past, right past me. It was the coolest thing. So you walk through the jungle. 
and there's loads of vegetation everywhere which is really nice. I think some islands doesn't have quite as much. That way is the spa, it's right there. That's the reception right there. But we are going to walk round. Oh, this way. Oh, see. Yeah, because that's the log gate area. Okay. <laughs> but the beauty of it is that you can walk around the full island in about five minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> this is where we came in, this long pier. Whoa, do you hear that? What's that? Why is it Nabby? It's in there. There's like different types of house you can get. You can get a house on the beach with a pool, or you can get overwater bungalow with no pool, or you can get an overwater bungalow with a pool. And actually, we're staying. We've got three rooms, right? Two of them are over the water, and then one of them's like a jungle room, which is great. I actually don't know what I'd prefer. I think the overwater things are just so exciting. What was we run back? <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh my god, look! Dolphins! A school of them is like four, I think. Oh, do you think I can swim out and meet them? No, nah, that's a way past the end of the roof. Not really. Yeah, look, you can see the boys. <gasps> How the amazing, honestly, the wildlife progresses to get better. Come on, come back out. <laughs> what if they come close? I don't know if they'll come right into the reef. You never hear no. about dolphins coming close. Why really? are there dolphins? Are they definitely dolphins? Yeah, the picture on the Maldivian air is the dolphin on the tail. So it is. Wow, well, bye. It was nice when it lasted. So we've come to one of the restaurants for dinner. This is Olive and you can't see because it's dark it's a bit windy but it's really nice it's still so warm but that right there oh you can see it a little bit that is the ocean right there and then down there is where you can have drinks and stuff it's like a wee bar that's open till 11. again another thing i like about this place everything shuts at 11 so you've got no choice but to go and get a good night's sleep it's so good i've not even looked at this it sounds good. does it yeah, oh how much that's about you Need to show you this so i've only seen this once before and i hope it shows up on camera but i was just down at the beach to see if there's any crabs bioluminescence right it's like plankton that light up and look at this i hope it shows up so this is like little blue lights in the sand but there's loads of them but these small ones in blue light oh my god look how amazing they're all floating around there's places in the world that you can see this and it's there's like loads of it but there's a tiny amount here it's just amazing you saw them there hi uh, welcome to technically day number two does it count as day number two or day number three considering we had a full well yeah we had a full day when we got here i feel we were so tired though i were a bit funny we did good with the jet lag considering we just we stayed up and then slept and it, and it was amazing but the first day was a wee bit like wobbly i would say that this is day three we're fully in island mode. I've got a t-shirt on because I'm a complete clown, look. <laughs> it's still there. And not only that, has it been commented on by other guests of the hotel? Yes, it has. I feel like I'm a bit tender in the chest. Do you know where else? I've burnt the backs of my legs. I think I always put sun cream on my front and I must have turned over without thinking about it. Uh, so I've really not been that sun sensible and I'm annoyed about it. Where's my corona? I have a corona. We went snorkeling and it's unbelievable, but I'm gonna have to wait until the sun gets lower or something because the backs of my legs got worse when I was snorkeling. I had factor 50 on and the sun here is just fierce. If. I just can't really believe this place. Love it so much. I'm so happy that we chose to come to a sm like a smaller island first because it just feels really nice. Like we're just about to go for lunch. Uh, the head chef came over to Jackie and said that they wanted to make some sushi for us, right? Yeah, some sushi off menu. Off menu. Cool. And they know they're they're amazing. Everyone knows your name because there's only 30 villas. They know that Jack doesn't eat fish. <laughs> it's, it's quite amazing though, isn't it? And then last night when we got in from dinner, we went in our wee pool and had a beer. And I just can't, I just think we're, we're really having just the best time. It's so nice. Just everything's been great. Food's been great. Drinks have been great. They do some really fun cocktails. Jack's taken the most amazing pictures. I managed to convince him to do a wildlife post because he's taking the best pictures of all the animals here. Tonight's our last night here. We're going to, uh, I think they call it the seafood 
sea grill um, where they do like steak and fish and things like that so we're going there for dinner tonight and apart from that we're today was like a, a non-event day we didn't want to book anything or plan anything we just want to like plod about in and out the sea in and out the pool it's like the dream this is my dream last night i tried to show you the bioluminescence unbelievable but it's quite hard to pick up on the camera but it's a really cool thing to have been able to see it doesn't happen that often it's quite windy so i hope you can hear me but look how amazing this is so i've got loads of different seafood and then jack's got his own special i think it's chicken did he say chicken teriyaki, chicken teriyaki. right go and give us a try is that cheese? i think it's cheese which is, to me is the best give it a little dip oh my god it's so good is it so good How good is that? Mmm. That's amazing. Hello, we're getting ready. We're moving. We're moving today. Can we do a sweep outside? Please, yes. darling. There's frangipani on this island. Oh my god. See this little flower? It smells so good. Let's move island, shall we? We feel quite sad to be leaving. Obviously, we don't know what we're going to, which I'm sure is just going to be just as amazing. But there's something about our little house here that I have loved. I haven't even told you. Yesterday was one of the most... Did I say about the turtle already? No. So last night we had a sunset here, right? I was in my little pool. I was reading my book. And then I got snorkeling equipment on and I went out there and I literally chilled out with a turtle when it was eating its dinner and it was one of the best moments ever. So it was just out there, there was a turtle eating away at the, I think it was coral, I think, I don't know if they eat coral or the algae or something, but the sun was set and it was the best thing ever. Look at this. Where's the other shark? Oh yeah, there's a sweet shark there. There's three of them, there's a third one. Wow, look at that, how cool. There was a turtle here as well earlier on and they were all sort of congregating in the middle of the show. It's just the best. I'm going to really miss this if it's not at the next place. Look at these sharks and they're friendly too. One was swimming right next to me yesterday. That's no, that's it. no, that's not Jaws. That's not big enough. Well, look, he's peeled away from the group. Right, let's go. I've not spoke to you in a couple of days. I'm trying to be quite quiet because I'm outside. We have moved resort. We're at Kuramathi. It is so great. I feel like I'm going to give you a kind of rundown right now of the two villas, the two places we stayed, why we stayed there, etc. Right. So the first place was Kandolu, which I'm probably not pronouncing properly, but Kandolu was a tiny. Oh, well, cheers, by the way. Happy Friday, I think. That's the best thing about being away, isn't it? I don't know what day it is. Let's do some makeup while we would chat. So Kandolo was a tiny island, right? 30 villas it had on it, which in the island itself was tiny. You could walk around it in five minutes. I think that we've done a really good thing seeing what boat's about, because now I know exactly what I like. So Kuramathi is a lot bigger. I think it's the set, we got told it's the second biggest island in the whole of the Maldives. If you like more things to do, this is perfect. There's different bars you can go to. I don't think I've ever done all-inclusive before. It's the most fun thing I've seen it Jack today when we're having lunch. It feels like, you know, like Monopoly money. It feels like that, like you're like play pretending going for dinner and all that because mm -hmm. you sign the bill and it's nothing. We did all inclusive at Condolu, Candolu as well. But here there's a lot more restaurants, there's a lot more bars, there's like stuff going on at night. Whereas at the first place, everything kind of like died down at 10. Um, again, it's just really, really different. It depends on what you like. I quite like both. So changing it up is kind of is kind of been nice. I suppose it depends on what kind of like a holiday that you want. This has been my combo for foundation, by the way. So Nars Syracuse, which is it's actually too dark for me, but 
rosy at the moment but I do one pump of that. That's the natural radiant longwear. This is the, the new light reflecting foundation in the shade Stromboli. One pump of that. And then Skin Nova which is going nuts again. Everyone loves it. My brand. One pump of that. And I literally just get a lovely foundation brush and mix it on the back of my hand. Mix it all up. Mix, mix, mix. And then I just go. We've been here for two days. We're at a new villa. Uh, we stayed in a different house for the first two days and it was definitely more geared towards families. It was like a beach villa but you need to be kind of careful because what we booked, I was sure that the beach villa would be like you open the doors and then it's sand and ocean. It's not a bad thing at all but this one it was like you open the doors and it was like a balcony and then you had to go outside and round to go to the beach anyway. So we were there for two days. And it was good. I think it definitely more suited for a family. Like there was an upstairs with a bed and then a downstairs with a bed. We didn't need that obviously. We were meant to be in the overwater villa but I uh, I asked it to change because I was sure it was going to be one of those like beach houses, beach and then ocean. Because this island's bigger, there's more people walking around and things like that. So there was like people walking in front of the house and things. So it wasn't maybe as private as what I'd seen on the first island which obviously has hardly any people. Again, not a negative at all but just something that I've learned but today we moved to our own villa over water you can kind of see behind me with a pool I mean Jack have been talking a lot and see if you're coming all the way to the Maldives I, I mean I know that it's different for everyone and what circumstances is but I, I would definitely say try and get an over water villa with a pool because it's just like the most insane feeling I mean we were kind of talking about it in the room that we were in with the beach it's definitely the Maldives but you kind of could be anywhere if that makes sense um but I'm just trying to you know help you navigate your Maldives experience if you decide to come here we moved into our villa today we spent the last couple of days having a look around the island they've been going for dinners we went for drinks one night and ended up having a wee dance which was really fun they had like a live band playing loads of sunbathing if you can't tell loads of sunbathing and a bit of snorkeling We've been actually really taking it easy, which is nice. I really like it. But there's loads of things to do here if you want. You can book excursions and stuff, but we've actually decided that we're happy on our wee balcony, our wee deck. I'm reading books. Oh my God, finished Throne of Glass. I cried so much. I've said this every week for the last, I don't know, month, six weeks. If you've not read those books, you need to go and read them right now. We've been sleeping good. We've been eating good. The food's really good here. We got a really, really nice massage. The last island I showed you was like this size. This one's like this size. And we're at this end. So you can get buggies up and down or you can walk. Me and Jack walked it last night, didn't take long at all. I mean, it's a big island, but it's, it's still an island. You can walk one end to the other in maybe like half an hour. But we're just having a rest of time. And that's the update. We're just getting ready for dinner. I'm just doing a light face. I don't even know why I'm putting makeup on, if I'm honest. I think I just wanted to. I've been wearing makeup. I actually have worn makeup every day, apart from every night, I should say. Apart from yesterday, I've moved on to tan bronzer. I'm ready. I'm literally just going to do my bronzer, my blush, some skin dew. Do you hear that wee bird? But yeah, I'm going to literally chuck some brow gel through my brows, some mascara maybe, and then that'll be me. And then when I come back, I'll, I'll show you what our digs are like. This is great. It's so nice. That was a race against time. It gets dark very quickly. But this is my makeup. I put Muse uh, lipstick on. Favourite red. And look, this is my audience. I hope you liked the tutorial. <laughs> Let me know if you actually want a tutorial though for the full look because it took me 10 minutes. Wow. Oh my god, the rays. I've never seen that before. And then look, there's the moon there. We've had the moon out every night. Well, obviously, because it's clear skies. And yeah, this is our, this is our villa. My God, the lights look <laughs> very yellow. The Downton Road life. I'm going to put my necklaces on and then, are we, is it time to go? 10 minutes. Um, and then we'll go for dinner and maybe some drinks. This is our house. I will really miss walking on these wee wooden walkways. Oh, and the palm trees. So I think that in, I'm trying to remember, in our old resort, I think there's maybe four or five restaurants and there's like places that you can go and get like a sandwich or something if you're hungry. Even though the resort was really small, you, you would never be like, 
I don't know if that sounds quite dramatic. Like there's set times that you go for dinner and I think at one point I was like, oh God, what if I'm what if we're hungry elsewhere? You're fine, you're so fine. I mean, this world of um, all-inclusive is very new to me. But here, I think we've been to maybe four different restaurants. The food's all been really good. And tonight we're going to a new one called Reef, which is like, it's mostly seafood, which Jack doesn't eat, but there's a grill part. Like basically, I think that they cater for everyone. Imagine you turned up vegan, they were like, ah, nah. <laughs> not for you, I'm afraid. No, they've got they've got absolute food for absolutely everyone. Um, there's one place that we really like called the Pam. Oh my God, we're going back, I think tomorrow. They did this like mushroom tagliatelle, it was divine. And yeah, I bet if you're here for a long time, like I think we were at the old resort for three days, or three nights, sorry, and we're at this one for six. So I know people that come on holiday for like two weeks at a time. You would obviously find your favourite restaurant and hit it up a few times. Oh, there's a buggy. Do you want to get it? No. Right, yeah. Are we? Are we? Is that it? Next one. Next one. And where the last resort we were at had 30 villas, this has 350. So it's huge and it's a lot busier. Uh, and by that I don't mean it's busy, but it's like you can see there's nobody here. Look at those! Yeah, he's scary. <gasps> yeah, that's his eyes. Oh my god, I wonder if I can get closer. Look. <gasps> wow. Do you know what? There's something about crabs that I don't find as scary as spiders, I don't think. Like, if spiders were that size, I'd probably freak out, but crabs, that's fine. Um, like, this is where we're having dinner tonight. You can hear the sounds of the ocean. Wow, oh, and that's our house down there. Top table. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. We're just having lunch, classic holiday lunch. We had uh, like a wrap, Jack had a burger, and this is their mango ice cream that they make here, and it is the best. This is a view. And we're quite early for lunch, but we figured out that if you come early enough, it's always nice and quiet. And then when we get back to the room, I'll show you where we're staying. That's where we were having dinner last night. We were right at the nose. And then over there, they've got water bungalows that don't have a pool. And then that's our one, like there. But it's another beautiful day. Hello, welcome to our tour. Uh, I'm gonna open this door. So this is where you come in. That's like the main walkway. And then you walk down the little, what do you call it, walkway. And then you come to our hallway. Oh, look at that straight away. So cool. We've got our flippers. Contradictory, no, unpopular opinion. Don't like these, don't like using flippers when you're snorkeling. I prefer to be able to kick with my feet. So we've been using this stuff every day. You get this um, to borrow when you come here, which is really good. We've obviously moved in. Me and Jack are like whirlwinds when we come in, me more so. I've got like my makeup and all that sitting there, my brushes. But this is our big bed, again, really comfy. The aircon works really good in here too. And then this is, I suppose, like the little bar area. The last place had all-inclusive and you could literally just drink whatever you wanted from the bar. Here, I think you get, oh my God, how funny, I've got like half a glass of wine in there because it cost $60 and I was like, I'm not, throwing that away. All like your soft drinks are complimentary and then anything else you buy. Got a little coffee machine. There's a wine fridge in this room. So again, the, the wine list is there. So we just got a nice bottle of rosé yesterday and it was perfect. Then there's the big doors. These are all bifold, so you can open them right, right out. But we're, we've just been for lunch, so we shut them all and it keeps it cooler. Obviously, if you keep the doors shut, you got a wee TV. The bathroom, nice big bath. I'm gonna have a bath tonight. Really nice view of the bath. And again, these doors you can open up, so see if it was like sunset, you could have a bath, it's really nice. Double sinks, I've obviously left an absolute load of carnage in my wake. So the products that I brought, 
that I've been absolutely loving. I'll go through just like the sun stuff. This is one of my favourite sun creams ever. It's the Vichy SPF 50 Enhanced Tan. So still got an SPF of 50, which is great. Uh, and I used this at the very start of the holiday. On my face, I've just been using my La Roche-Posay Anthelios every single day. In my hair, I have been using a mixture of things. So this is the, the Davines Sue Hair Milk. I love the, the Oi range. This is for sun, although my extensions have slightly changed colour in the ends, but I'm going to get them taken out when I get home. And to keep my hair healthy while I've been away, I've been using my this Fable in Maine hair oil. So, so nice. This brand is run by a brother and sister duo and it's really influenced by their heritage Indian culture. It's so, so nice. I've been using this all the time when I'm sunbathing. I'm just going to show you everything because honestly I've not been using a huge amount. I've got my oil shampoo and my oil conditioner from Davines as well. And then this is my favourite stuff to take away with me when I'm on holiday. This is the Byredo Gypsy Water, the shower, the body wash and the body cream. But this is, makes for a really nice bubble bath as well. So this has kind of been my scent of the holiday. But I also took it to Ibiza with us last year. So it kind of reminds me of that. I understand why people get different fragrances for different trips because fragrance really does like help you remember good times. There's my crazy suitcase, which I've not bothered unpacking. I said that I would unpack um, as soon as we got to our last room because we moved three times and I've just not bothered. I feel like there's no point. This has been the best. I mean, it's a mess right now, but I've been taking my jewelry on and off a lot. Do you remember at the start of our trip, I managed to get my necklace my like neck like sunburn around my necklaces so it looked like I had ne necklaces on. Uh, thank God it's gone now. But I kept all my jewellery and sunglasses in this little mini away suitcase. It's brilliant and it's solid. It doesn't have a lock or anything on it, but for keeping my stuff separate and safe for travel, I love it so much. Skincare has kept the same. Uh, I've just brought loads of old faves. I have been using this eye cream, uh, Allies of Skin, every single night and actually during the day. And I've got one more suntan lotion to show you because I think that this has been a game changer too. Put how cool! So this is nearly finished, but this is the, the Declior Aloe Vera Sun Biphase Oil. So great. So this is an SPF of 30. So I moved on to this once I'd got a good base tan, just so I knew that I wasn't going to burn BS. Love both of those so, so much. I'm looking well and truly in holiday spirit, and by that I mean I look nuts. We're having a really, really chilled out day today. We're going to plop in and out the ocean right there, go in our pool, sunbathe, read, drink water. It's going to be great. We've loved this trip so much. It's been so nice. We feel really, really lucky to have managed to get away. It's really nice to be able to finally do something and call it a honeymoon. Really loved both the places we've stayed. I think for me, Kuramathi is great and it's fun and it's like a bigger island, but I really loved the first place that we were at. Just for the fact that it was so small. I, I think I know loads of people that wouldn't love that as much, but for me it's like the dream. But it's really nice to finish off, the, off our trip here. Yeah, I've just bloody loved it. Bloody loved it. Look at that. It's getting to the time when I'm counting down my sunsets, which is a little bit sad. But how beautiful. You just don't see colours like this back home, I don't think. Or it's very rare. Ready for dinner? So I did a bit of makeup, I even filmed it actually. I felt I just felt like it missing my work so much. Thanks. We are, I think we're gonna sign off the vlog here for now. We've got today's Saturday and we go home on Tuesday. So that gives us a Sunday Monday of not much to do really, which is just the dream. Me and Jack said this before we came here, how much we were excited about being maybe even a bit bored some days. Uh, I will say I've not been, I've not felt bored once. Um, very nice and relaxed, isn't it? I've never read so much in my life. I actually have a book to read for book club as well. I had, yes, I'm in a book club. Book and wine club. I had my first pang in my heart. Uh, well, not the first one, but the first serious one. I'm really missing the dogs, but they're having the best time at home with Granny and Grandad. We didn't leave them themselves. I think I said that last time, didn't I? I was like, yeah, you can look after yourself, can't you? Bye. Had a bath. Wait until you see. I had all these doors open and I had a bath right there and it was incredible i hope you enjoyed i'm excited to watch this back in like five years and i'll see you back at home bye
Yuck. <laughs> oh my god, this is brain in my feet. <laughs> Ow. I look red as well. Yeah, it's just because I've got extremely yellow foundation on. <laughs> my necklaces are burned into my body. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, I can't do it, my nose is... Ah. No, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of keeps taking me out to the shower now. Woo woo! Woo woo! I'm just Woo woo! <laughs> You're gonna see his bum. <laughs> <laughs>